Um, welcome everybody. How are you doing today? It's so very nice to have you here. And today I wanted to speak a little bit about our upcoming December program, Decide for Freedom Now. You know, such a powerful statement, Decide for Freedom Now. Tenderness and choosing truth in today's world. You know, there's a lot going on in today's world and many, many people are affected by that. It's not just the political changes here and all over the world, really, but also the climate change, also other issues that really affect us. There is also a lot going on individually in our lives. And you know, we as humans are very routine oriented. We really like, this is our nervous systems and brains that really like stability and no change. And the world is changing. You know, the world has always been changing. Maybe now the change is a little more visible. Many people are very happy and ecstatic about the change. Many people are very challenged and affected by the change and anything in between. And I want to say that for us, the priority remains that what we really want is to be here. To be here, to know our true nature and also to know what is really present here in the moment. Because when I say what we really want is to be here, I don't mean to deny or bypass or suppress anything that is present. I mean to actually use this opportunity because change is an opportunity. You know, sometimes even if the change is good, we are affected by that and change in general is going to affect us. However, we can either struggle with that or we can use it as an opportunity. An opportunity to deepen our reliance on presence. An opportunity to, in a real way, disengage from the ups and downs of the world and find peace and solace and rest in our true nature. And you know that I never encourage to just withdraw from the world, but we have to start by attending to what matters most. And that's what I really mean by choose freedom now. And that's what I really, or decide for freedom now. And that's what I really mean by choosing truth in today's world. You know, it, it is not always easy, but we want what we really want. Our deepest and truest desire is to be here, to have the willingness to be here. And, you know, ultimately awakening is the, you know, ultimate moving beyond doubt is the ultimate, you know, uh, knowing who we really are, our true nature, beyond any doubt. And as we know, even awakening does not stop the arising of the patterns of the past. So no matter where we are in this journey, where are we at in this journey, no matter we have to remember, we need to remember what we really want is to be here. And that's the beginning. That's the beginning. You know, there's so much more I want to say. I can, I could say about this. And I want to invite you to join me in this December program. So we can talk more about all this. And especially about tenderness and the true meaning of that. You know, the real kindness to what is. 
you know, because that kindness breaks down our understandings, breaks down our defenses, breaks down our ideas about how things are or how things should be, you know, real kindness is really necessary. And tomorrow here in the United States, we have this big celebration of Thanksgiving, you know, which also, they are different, you know, opinions, or not opinions, but different ways of viewing that celebration. Um, but I want to really stick to the fundamental message of it, which is gratitude. And I want to say that I'm grateful for my teachers, for Papaji and for Ramana, for this lineage. I'm grateful for you, for our connection that we share. You know, it's so unique in this world to share this connection. It's a very unique, special connection of really coming together in truth. I'm grateful to my family and friends. And I encourage you to reflect more deeply on gratitude and encourage you to keep following this inner prompting and this inner desire for truth, for awakening and for freedom. I'm very much looking forward to our time together and I hope to see you all there.